September is Hispanic Heritage Month, and today, Sonia Gonzalez joins Nurse Christina Paris from the VA to talk more about cultural differences and how health care is affected. And additionally, they'll talk a little bit about hypertension and steps you can take to reduce your chances of complications. So thank you so much for joining us this morning. You're welcome. Thank you for having <laughs> us. So first off, what is Hispanic Heritage Month, and how does it kind of relate to the issues that impact health care for minorities? So Hispanic Heritage Month is actually a celebration that used to be a week, but now we have it as a month between September 15th and October 15th. And we celebrate it to kind of celebrate the cultural impact that Hispanic and Latin American people have had on the United States as a whole. So when it comes to, there is actually more than 62 million uh, Hispanic Americans in the United States today. Mm -hmm. And we kind of try to celebrate that and bring them into the fold of how everything kind of goes. And when it comes to health care, there's a lot, and I'm sure it happens with every culture, there's a lot of impacts that can, you know, lead to either not seeking out that health care or maybe thinking that there's a better way that they can do it as their culture, whether that be, you know, because of religious beliefs mm -hmm. or what have you with that. And when it comes to the cultural differences of that, it's there's also multiple, multiple right. generational households and things like that. Right, so like you said, multiple generational households, people are living in the same house. Um, they're essential workers, they're mm -hmm. service, mm -hmm. service workers. So they're around, you know, we saw that a lot in New York during COVID. Mm -hmm. um, so they're, they're around each other a lot. Um, language barriers, sometimes they understand but have a difficulty talking about what, um, you know, in another language. Mm -hmm. And I know Sonia's <laughs> aunts have explained these things to me. So, um, and lack of education. So while we have a lot of education materials printed in other languages, often we forget to offer because we mm -hmm. think, well, gee, they speak really good English, yes. so they must understand. But really, it's better if we could give them something that's really in a language that, that explains things better to them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And just lack of testing, you know, oftentimes they don't think about like limes, you know, we, we will have people where we'll go in and advocate and say, you know what, I was bit by a tick, mm -hmm. I feel crummy, I think I have Lyme's disease. <laughs> so lack of testing for things like that. Or even having to think about it. And also I know even if it is in the language that they understand, sometimes the way that things are put, we don't really understand that's right. something that they don't get. Like, you know, right. acronyms for a right. thing. I know my aunt says there's way too many acronyms <laughs> in the United States. Yes. Yes. There definitely are. I don't even yeah. understand all of them. <laughs> yeah. So then can we do a little bit explain kind of what is yeah. high blood pressure Abs and then how can one kind of lower Absolutely. Blood so high blood pressure, and, and the reason we talk about this with um, Hispanic Heritage Month is because it's one of the leading um, causes or issues that, that uh, affect uh, Latin American uh, mm -hmm. people. Hispanics. Yeah, Hispanics. So um, one of the things we look at is you have your top number and your bottom number when you get your blood pressure. So we want that top number to be below 130. We want mm -hmm. the bottom number to be, um, b uh, sorry, we want the top number Yes, to be below 130 and the bottom <laughs> number to be above 80. Gosh, oh, it's a morning. Um, so things that you can do to improve your blood pressure is, of course, losing weight, mm -hmm. eating better, choosing a diet that's rich in fruits and vegetables, um, reducing the amount of salt, and um, improving your, um, your exercise or activity mm -hmm. levels during the day. And always, you know, talk to your doctor. Maybe medication might be needed for you. So. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in and doing that little explanation yeah, for us. For I think us. it's very important to kind of talk about culture, especially when it comes to health care, because mm -hmm. it is different for everyone. Right, right. Yes. Absolutely. So thank you guys so much. And then thank coming you. up 